Yeah, we're definitely noticing some low cloud coverage, so you may run into some fog in some areas, but it looks like it's mainly the high cloud coverage that is a little disruptive this morning. Uh, so our views all across the Bay Area starting off with kind of neat looking skies with all the clouds out there. You may run into delays at the airport. Here's a look at your headlines this morning. Uh, we do have that chance of thunderstorms. It's happening now. So we're already noticing a few lightning strikes near Ukiah, mostly cloudy for the morning. It is humid out there. And then the weekend, expecting a lot of sunshine. So the cloud coverage actually should be gone by this afternoon. But look what's going on. We kind of have these puffs of clouds rolling in around San Francisco. And then the higher clouds out there making for neat colors this morning. The Sutro camera is very impressive as we wait for that official sunrise. Right now, just a red, bright red glow out there. It's Friday the 13th, so that kind of seems appropriate. Here's a look at our high-def Doppler. And let's show you where those lightning strikes are occurring. A few more popping up right now near Hopland, near Ukiah. So this is right along Highway 128. But look at 101 in Cloverdale. That's where it is not let up. So this strong cell coming through there, uh, it actually started around 430 this morning and it's continuing. So that's where you may run into some low-lying uh, ponding in the roadways because of the heavy rain that's coming through. And this the cell also just showed up right in between Yachtville and Napa near Sonoma. So along 121, you may run into wet roads. Uh, Fetters Hot Springs right there also dealing with it and Roanoke Park. So this line just showed up and you see it. It's almost like a straight line going all the way from Dillon Beach extending as far as wine country. So you'll definitely be uh, dealing with that in the North Bay. Also through San Francisco, just saw a few areas of green showing up here, but most of that is now right over the Pacific Ocean, a little bit showing up in Marin as well. A lot of this not necessarily measurable precipitation, maybe a few hundredths of an inch is what we're going to see in most uh, locations like San Francisco. But to the North Bay, especially your Cloverdale, that's looking like it's going to add up. Overall, the rotation coming in from the south to the north, you see on your satellite radar kind of this uh, circular pattern, but it doesn't look like the moisture over the ocean is going to come back around into our area. What we'll continue to see is some of that monsoonal moisture from the south just working its way up. Golden Gate Bridge does definitely look foggy out there this morning, uh, so just uh, keep that in mind. It may be a little dry. Grizzly from the low lying cloud coverage, but also from some of those pop up showers. 59 degrees in San Francisco, Livermore 66, Concord at 68 degrees right now. And afternoon highs are going to be very similar to yesterday, but today is going to feel a little stickier out there. So that's uh, something to keep in mind if you're doing your hair this morning. Uh, west winds coming through right now in downtown San Francisco at 8, and then pretty breezy through Fairfield and Antioch, the usual spots that deal with strong wind gusts at this hour. Sunrise happening in the next uh, nine minutes or so, 558 this morning, sunset tonight at 832. It should be clear for sunset time. Afternoon highs, upper 80s, low 90s for the South Bay today. Compare that to the mid 60s at the beaches, also near Antioch and Brentwood, uh, Walnut Creek 86. So temperatures are going to feel literally like what we had yesterday. But because of that added mugginess, it may just be a little more uncomfortable. 70 in Berkeley, 70 in Richmond, and then up north we go. Lakeport, Clear Lake 90s again this afternoon. So again, by the time we get to the afternoon hours, we're going to see plenty of sunshine. A lot of this moisture is going to be gone and we're going to be sitting under that ridge of high pressure that's bringing on that moisture but instead of getting uh, the moisture from it by this afternoon we're going to see sunshine through Saturday Sunday all the way into next week look at those temperatures upper 90s for inland spots we'll be right around the low 70s around the bay and that's a look at your forecast